so I play um, this young Kamanian character called Shai, who, um, who's an expat living in the Cayman Islands. Um, his mother is a teacher, his father died in a tragic incident, and um, he's basically kind of a happy-go-lucky who, happy-go-lucky character who, um, who's in love. He's a young teenage kid here in the Caymans whose sole purpose is to make him, to make his dad proud of him, take over the family business and watch out for his sister. <laughs> That's his three goals in life. You know, he hasn't been good at much. He's a semi-smart kid, but he enjoys the rough parts of the street. So I play a guy who's not on the run, but he decides to try to kind of make a run for it. The IRS are, are coming down pretty heavily on him, and so he brings his daughter down here, and he's been in business with, a, with this local attorney played by Stephen Delane, and uh, he's, he's, he's a desperate man. I have a big bag full of cash I show up with. I've got a daughter who I'm estranged from. The mother's been dead for several years, and uh, it's, 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 he's kind of in a, he's in a real dilemma, my character. Special Agent Martinez, Department of Treasury. Spy under arrest? No, 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 no. We're just here to serve you the subpoena. We need to seize anything that might be relevant business wise. Consuela, get these men what they need. I think she's just a regular teenage girl um, that, you know, lost her mom when she was younger and uh, lives with her dad, who they don't have the greatest relationship at all. Um, and I think she's at that, that age in her, that stage in her life where she's kind of you know, deciding whether she's going to go the right way or the wrong way. And um, she's just a lot of fun. She's a really cool, just simple girl. I bought you something. You got this from the door, stupid. <laughs> Look, no, no. I, it's just, I, I couldn't find one as pretty as you, of course. Has that line ever worked for you? You want to come, right? Come on, girl. You know you want to dance, shake your thing like they say in America. <laughs> All right, let me just get dressed. No, 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 no. It's bad luck to leave a conch shell inside. What's wrong with you? I'll take my chances. He does not keep up a job well. And what he does is he causes trouble by, you know, stealing cars and, um, you know, sleeping in his mom's, uh, his mom works at this uh, condominium and he breaks into the uh, rooms. Whoever's not sleeping in one of the rooms, he breaks in and he, uh, you know, he sleeps there. He just causes tri he causes mayhem in, in the Cayman Islands. Patrick's um, is a, is a bit of a sort of I think he's a bit sh is a bit shy really. He, he tries to um, tries to mingle in with the um, the Cayman life, the sort of the, the local kids and stuff, but doesn't quite fit in. He doesn't quite get there, but uh, he tries. She's just this. Uh... Sexy uh, Caribbean woman who um, I think you sort of think she's kind of an idiot at times, but she's really not an idiot. She might play like one, but she's um, she's actually really smart and very observant. Good to see you. Kid. You guys have a good trip in? A few hiccups. This is my assistant, Sheila. Yes, we've met. Oh, really? Came on, briefly. I think it was at church. Right? It, that's right. That, that's right. At, at church. That's right. I forgot. He's a um, lawyer. Uh, English, been on the Cayman Islands for some time, um, always stuck to the rules, um, although he's dealing with dirty money for other people, but he's never done anything, taken anything for himself. He loses a lot of money in the collapse of um, the first National Bank of Cayman and uh, has a bit of a turnaround in his life. Well, Shai's a, um, he's a, he's a fisherman, so he kind of has a very free and easy manner about him. I went down to um, down to the local docks. Um, Frankie Flowers Senior organised a, a session with some um, with some local fishermen so that I could scale fish and and uh, spray down some boats. Once I got to the Caymans, Frankie introduced me to a lot of people who lived here, and I went over to the high school and took some classes. Well, watched some of the classes with the uh, drama students at the high school and um, I learned a lot about the kids here, the people here and the culture and just hanging out, going to the, the local pool hall and clubs and meeting people and just talking to people. At first the, the production wanted me to stay at the Marriott but I refused so I stayed with Marlon, the guy's name is Marlon and you know I enrolled myself in the school out here and 
um, you know, I got a, I had a dialect coach, but I think the the, the climax of, of, of prepping for this movie was the school because it was really interesting to go into, to the school here because you kind of see the transition from when the kids, you know, from 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 when they're in high school, there's such a, this innocence and this um, not ignorance, but rather um, 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 they're oblivious to the world ahead of them. So just kind of seeing their innocence before they head out to the world, and then staying with Marlon, you know, somebody who already graduated from high school, um, was really interesting because I got to see both of, you know, the both worlds. Just so I listened to a few. Um, I listened to. A a recorded voice of someone from the island and I'm um, in terms of like the accent and everything um, and I'm kind of familiar with like the West Indian Caribbean accent and so it wasn't really that hard but I just needed to just really relax and just uh, be uh, a little more mature and sexy and uh, sultry. I prepared the role by just sort of basically talking to Frankie and um, and just sort of you know what Get, getting the, the vibe of what it's like on the island and um, trying to sort of get into his mindset of um, just struggling, really. Not, well, not struggling, more, but more sort of like not quite with it. The love that he has for this girl is kind of um, forbidden. So it's a forbidden love and her family, who is a wealthy Khamenean family, um, just have no interest in the young fisherman who's got no prospects being in this relationship with uh, their princess of a daughter. Tell me a secret. Something you've never told anybody else. I've never told anyone before. I fantasize about making love to you. <laughs> Whoa. I think Hammer's story is just a story of confusion, trying to find your way, trying to find your masculinity in a land where there really isn't a true person or thing for you to look up to or follow. You know, trying to find your voice in this land where nobody really listens to you. I'm not inside our room.